I've also had guys that I was talking to directly come out to me and say they would love to, you know, make babies with me because they would love to get some of this chocolateness skin into their child. That has been said to me. Um, yeah. Just. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. As you can see from the title, today is going to be kind of a Germany tips video. And basically in this video, I will be telling you guys um, just a few helpful information which I wish someone told me before moving to Germany. And also just a few um, things that I noticed which you probably will notice if you move to Germany. So I hope this video is going to be really helpful for you guys. So let's just jump right into the video. I have all the things written down on my phone here so I'm just gonna run through the list there is no order there's no rhyme or rhythm to how I'm saying these things the first thing that I want to mention to you guys if you move to Germany you might be wondering what are some good store where you can buy you know furniture and blankets and pillows and all of that stuff in the States you know we have Target or Walmart you can get furniture at Macy's etc in Germany, I like to go to a store called Bräuningerland, or rather Bräuningen. It's basically a mall. They have different assortment of stores in there, but there is most definitely a furniture store in there. But to be more specific, you can definitely go into Bräuningen, and Bräuningen definitely has furniture and all of the like. Bräuningen to me is kind of like a Macy's. Then we have Depot or Depot, but that is actually one of my top favorite home stores to go to. They have really, really cute things for an affordable price. Then there is Maison du Monde. Monde. And this is actually, I believe, a French company, a French website, but they do have a website in Germany and that's actually where I picked up this kitchen island. It's actually from Maison du Monde and they have also a variety of cute home things. Then of course you have Amazon. We do have German Amazon in Germany. Everyone keeps asking me that where I get my things from Amazon, but Amazon is all over the place and all over the world. The shoveling noise, I mean... Like you have Amazon.com in America, we do have Amazon.de. And then last but not least, I have to mention Wayfair. There is a Wayfair.de and this is my favorite place to also go to for furniture. Basically everything in my apartment, maybe let's say 70% is from Wayfair. So I prefer to go to either Kaufland because Kaufland to me is kind of like a huge supermarket. Kaufland kind of reminds me of Stop and Shop. So it's a big, big, big place. And normally the German supermarkets are really tiny and compact, but Kaufland is huge and it reminds me of a Stop and Shop and you can go there and you can basically pick up everything and their prices are more or less very affordable. And then there is Edeka. And I think Edeka is a bit high priced. I think it's actually really high priced but you have good quality food at Edeka, really good quality. And some things I actually cannot find at Kaufland and I can find it at Edeka. So in America, we have CVS. That was my normal go-to drugstore in the States. So here in Germany, they do have DM, so DM and also Rossmann. And by me, I have a Rossmann and I absolutely love Rossmann. Definitely not for makeup. They do not have makeup for darker skin people or people of my skin tone. So definitely not for makeup, but for other things like toilet paper, makeup removing wipes, traveling things. Basically it is a CVS, exactly like a CVS, except they don't have, you know, the makeup things for people of color. So when I first moved here, and I still do this now, if you get, you know, German mail and you know it's very difficult to read or to comprehend what they want you to do with all this text and it's probably something important, what you can do, which I um, figured out in the beginning of my moving here, is you can go on Google Translate and there is a button where you can click camera and then you can take a picture of the document and then after that, you can scan the whole document and then you can translate that document into your native language so that you can understand everything. So this is something that I still do because there's a lot of German words, complicated German words in the bureaucracy type of realm that I still do not understand. And I just take a picture of it on the Google Translate app and just translate it and it makes my life 
ever so smoothly. I do not miss any points which are important and I know exactly what they want from me. And this is the same thing when it comes to websites. Now, if it's something that I'm reading, for example, the Regelungen, like what's going on in Germany with the rules with Corona and stuff, it's a lot of German text and I just can't manage it all. So what I do is I open up the website in Google Chrome and Google Chrome has the option where you can translate the website that you're on. And so that is how I read those pages because at the moment, Reading all of those in German, I don't know a lot of the big bureaucracy words. It's really difficult. So just translating it via Google Chrome is also an easy way to do that. I wish someone had told me this before even entry so that I could start to, you know, build up the friend group or start talking to people from then. But what you can do is actually use Facebook. You can look for the city that you're going to move in. And normally, most likely on Facebook, there is already a group out there, which is called expat and then your city name. And you can just join that group and do some meetups. I've done that in the city that I'm in and I've met a few cool people. I've also gone on some of the events that they have. They have really, really good events. I did a wine tasting in France via this group and it was absolutely amazing. So this is a way or a place where you can go to find friends. Another way that you guys can find friends, it's a little bit unconventional, but when I say that loud, it kind of makes me feel like a, someone who's begging for friends. But if you are an expat, you know the struggle and you know how hard it is actually to find friends. So we all know about Bumble. Bumble is a dating app, but they did incorporate this other tab into Bumble, which is Bumble Friends. And this is how you can meet friends on Bumble. I met a few girls actually via Bumble Friends. I am still in my process of learning German and it's a difficult process only because I'm learning Hochdeutsch, I'm learning the main German. In the area that I'm living in, they're speaking their dialect. If I go to the north, they're speaking their dialect. If I go to the west, they're speaking their dialect. And for me, the dialect, it shouldn't even be called dialect. I think it should be called a whole different language because carpet doesn't mean carpet in the north. Carpet in the north doesn't mean carpet in the south. It's different words for different things. Just be aware of that when you come here you probably will learn Hochdeutsch and you probably will start to pick up some of the dialect where you are. So guys be very prepared as well for false friends between German and English if you are coming from an English speaking country and false friends are the biggest things the biggest problems one of the biggest problems that I have with learning German is the false friends. So these basically are some of the trickiest false friends. What we have here right now is for example der chef you would think it means the chef but it means actually the boss. Then we have die rent and in an English speaking country, you would think that means the rent, but it actually means pension. Another tricky one is der See, and in my mind at the beginning when I moved here, I thought that meant sea, but it actually means lake. Now, becoming is a difficult one for me to grasp because I always thought it meant to become, but it literally means to receive and to get. So guys, definitely just be aware when you're first coming here about the false friends, because there are a lot. This one I've mentioned before in other videos, but just to reiterate, please, you must bring your own bags to the grocery stores. And this applies also to going clothing shopping, going furniture shopping. You need to bring your own bag, otherwise you will have to pay for a bag. Nobody is giving out free bags in Germany. Please know that. So this one is kind of going in the relationship dating type of topic. I thought it necessary to say it here just to warn some women. It's nothing crazy, but I found that in my experience being here, being a black woman, being also an American and an expat, um, that a lot of guys when I was dating were kind of not really looking at you as a person, but kind of just looking at you as what you are. So fetishizing you and um, putting you in this mold of something exotic they are kind of more attracted to this exoticness and this differentness and not really you so it doesn't matter if you're a good person bad person the fact that you are this other 
that was exciting. That was, you know, something that they wanted, something that they wanted to, you know, conquer and take. I've also had guys that I was talking to directly come up to me and say they would love to, you know, make babies with me because they would love to get some of this chocolateness skin into their child. That has been said to me. Um, yeah. Just be aware, not every relationship or every interest that comes your way might be genuine. And I'm not generalizing, but just be aware of that. Getting a new doctor in Germany can be very, very stressful. And this was one of the highlights of why I moved to Germany because of the free healthcare. And it is amazing, trust me, it's amazing. But switching providers or even getting a doctor in general, it is very difficult it's not easy so in my situation i had a case with my dentist and a case with my gynecologist so i called around where i work they were not accepting patients they literally actually turned me away because they just don't accept any more patients they have enough patients and this is something that you will find i think often if you want to find a doctor a gynecologist a dentist most times you may be turned away because they are full and then you have to go outside of your town to find a doctor or even outside of that town to find a doctor you just have to keep calling around and find a doctor that is still accepting patients so guys that was basically the end of the video i have no more tips that come to my mind that i want to give you but i do want to use this video to open up the channel for all the people who do live in Germany now, all the Germans who are watching this video, to possibly give your own tips below for any newcomers, expats who are coming to Germany or who already live here, because there's a lot of things that we wish we knew before we came here, and I'm sure there's a lot of things that a lot of people who want to move here want to know. So it'd be great if we can come together in the comment section and just shoot out some tips, and this video can be a nice starting point for anyone who wants to move abroad in general and thank you guys for staying tuned and if you made it all the way to the end of this video thank you thank you thank you by the way we are almost at 20k i love all of you guys your support is noticed and i would not be here without you guys so thank you for the support and i hope you guys are staying healthy and safe and i'll see you in my next video